Hello there. Thanks a lot for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard, and this is Ray Charles in 1963, the genius, still very much riding the wave of commercial success he enjoyed from his two LPs called Modern Sounds in Country and Western Music. Ray had two top ten hits this year, one of them from those two LPs, that would be Take These Chains From My Heart, and the other one was also a country song, Busted, both in 1963. What's really fun is I've got six posters to show you today, four of them real posters, two of them images, and uh, this was the tour blank template that was used with the orange background there. But first, interestingly, real quickly out of the way, 1963 for Ray started with this, it was a holdover from the 1961 tour blank template, which I've also blogged, and you've got the Keele Opera House in St. Louis, Missouri there on March 29th. But starting in the summertime, this gem appeared on June 29th, show you the close-up up there, in Virginia Beach, Virginia. But obviously Charles and his management with this poster was a big step towards simplicity, as you can see. Unlike the one I just showed you, there's no song titles, no album titles. Um, the Raylettes were moved way down to just a couple of words in the lower right corner with no picture. Um, and the extremely well-used and well-worn photograph of Ray Charles with his hands on the keyboard of the piano was finally retired in favor of this updated, you know, large artistic rendering of Ray's smiling face with his shades. Really a nice compelling design, I think. And all of this, by the way, on an orange backdrop, as you can see, it would be switched three years later to a yellow backdrop, which is part of another blog that I did. One thing that definitely stayed the same and didn't change, though, is the grandiose proclamations, as you can see, an unforgettable musical experience, let's get down there, in concert, and the most creative musical giant of this generation. Anybody out there arguing? Okay, didn't think so. <laughs> Ray Charles, his orchestra, and the Ray Letts. And then a little bit of detail down at the bottom. Uh, entire productions under the supervision of Jeff D. Brown, direction by Shaw Artists, and the poster printer is E.J. Warner, poster printing company. So as soon as I'm about to show you a run of these, because it's the template, bam, what happens is that I run into an uh, independent what-off concert poster from one month into summer. And here it is, 1963, and an independent promoter that liked to do their own thing with their concert posters. And this is in Buffalo, New York, on July 21 at Kleinen's Music Hall. Nicely designed, especially for a one-off poster, with a really cool picture of Ray leaning on the piano that's not a real common worn-out photo at all. I really like it. And the same catchy font is used for his name, as you can see, but in this case, especially Charles, is all scrunched together in order to fit into that black sphere. And the Raylettes, they got their love back with a photograph, four of them now instead of three, and um, it's kind of funny, the oddball fun stuff on there on the left side under Ray. The crowning of Miss WUFO of 1963. <laughs> the radio station tie-in, and then copious ticket-buying information down at the bottom. So, back to the template here as I race through this in the summer of 1963, two-thirds of the way now through the summertime. And you've got Sacramento, California on August 17th. And a, a very simple venue information up there as you can see. And this poster is in much better condition. The first orange one I showed you was kind of beat up and stuff like that, so it's nice to have one in good condition. And this was made, by the way, by the Tillman Press Poster Printing Company in Oakland, California. Then we go into the fall with another orange one, because it was the template of 63, in Montclair, New Jersey, November 15th at Montclair State College, which is now a university. And uh, it's kind of funny, since it was a college campus, there's all kinds of arcane ticket selling information. Um, you know, first they give you three sets of Monday through Friday dates, and then a different time window at different locations. And tickets were as cheap as $1.50 for students with a card who bought in advance. But there it is, you know, the orange poster template just being carried forward, and here we are late in the year. Matter of fact, speaking of late in the year, let's go to the end of the year real quickly with not a poster but an image of this one to end the year. Look at that. We've got December 28th, Saturday night, in Los Angeles at the Shrine Auditorium. So Ray Charles in 1963, the genius. Boy, the year he was busted, but uh, he was busting up the charts as well, and we just that mu music is so endearing, we love it all, and it lives on to this day. Thanks a lot for coming by. Have a good day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.